Okay, right, we're back in here once again. Now, I never even once considered an exhaust. Never once. Now, the exhaust port is down here. So, if I can get hold of an old Minimoto exhaust, I might just slice it into sections, put the mount, the actual bracket, the exhaust mount bracket onto there, and just play with it and try and get an exhaust to maybe come down and out the side or maybe even out here and up this way so yeah I didn't even think about an exhaust but we'll probably be able to make one come out here and up over the back which probably means the petrol tank will have to go to the other side somewhere probably right above the pull start so we'll maybe make it hover just up here so stuff doesn't get way too high yeah just now we are I used this as a template so I had that sitting there and I'm seeing this gap here I didn't know whether uh, oh where are we I don't know whether to weld in some bars or I don't want to make it too heavy so cutting up some plate I used that as a template template over the top of it cut inside the line so that it's not as big as that so just so it sits inside this frame rather than up on it and fill the little gap because there is a little gap there and once that's on I can put the final strap bar on which should give it that bit of support and this should support the bar there'll be nobody too heavy on it anyway so keep it as light as possible so for just now, I'm just chopping up this stuff here, but this is the, some of the donated materials we got from Morag and even the snips as well. So making light work of what I probably would have had to use, some kind of Dremel cutting disc or maybe even the, I might have been able to do it with what's left of my cutting disc. Right, now this here. Still needs some trimming, so I'll get to it, trim some off the edges and we'll get it to sit down inside it. So it is cut and into place, never mind the blue dots, that's where the holes were meant to be before I started, I templated it, but now that I've cut it it's out of alignment, so I'll flip it over and mark it from the bottom side, in a different colour pen. <laughs> Right, so this is it in place, the bolts aren't in here, they're in here, in here, this is what used to keep the strapping over the batteries. So now this is in place, I'm going to attempt to put the plastic skin over the top and screw all the holes in together. Should make it solid. See you there. And boom! Doesn't even look like it's been messed with. But super strong now. It's not going to go anywhere. I was going to be welding bars in, but it would have just added too much weight and probably got in the way. But I had to grind loads down just to get everything sitting flat again. This is just another option. We had that donated. It was sitting there. It looks strong enough. Put it in place and it's more than strong enough. So, yeah. Our exhaust issue. We need to try and get an exhaust and chop it up and have it come in. I don't know if we're going to have it coming under here. Seems like it would have more free float go this way up and round, but I just don't want it melting everything. But then I thought I've got metal pull cord, so I'll shove a metal pull cord on it, and chances are the exhaust will come round and out over at this side. Because if it comes under here, it's just open for him to put his leg on. I don't want that. We'll probably end up shoving a bit of heat wrap tape around it anyway, but. Or possibly even making a little metal housing to come over, but even that's going to heat up. So, he'll know not to go near it. But just in case he falls on it, we might have to have some kind of cover on it. But we're getting somewhere. It's now a complete vehicle. If we added a, right, throttle, let's sort a throttle out. Right, so, 
we've stuck the new throttle cable that I bought that was sitting doing nothing with that was sitting in a lever so we've fitted that so that's going to be our throttle that's going to be our brake now we've zip tied the lines in got them all looking tidy this one here needs to be held up it's going to come round up and out the back like that now if we get an exhaust it's going to come down round here and straight out the back in theory remember this pole might not be here I could take this away if needed put the metal pull start on it throttles on it now we're just either waiting we could attempt to make a head we'll try and find a spring like a peg spring that will fit over the end of that spark plug tight and into the end of the wire and that'll have his head sorted out we have the rubber cap somewhere but it's looking good grey pull start to match the rest of it just now but we are on I'm already looking at my other pieces of metal thinking mmm go-kart in fact why are we waiting why are we waiting it's gonna be we need a new clutch bell for this preferably a coil but we just need to fix the head and a petrol tank with some fuel line so we do have a couple of things to get and I'll, I'll try not to drag it out I'll try and make like one more video where everything's in it and it's running rather than dragging it out over three more videos try and keep it as short as possible so for just now I can't go any further on this go car go car go car so I don't know what to do go car <laughs> we've got too much spare metal we've got some over here as well we've got the angle iron stuff I'm just I need to be making stuff I really need to be making stuff and my kids they would appreciate a car to drive about trust me they would but could we make one big enough for everybody out of the bit of metal that we have let's find out so next video it might take a week or a week and a half but the next video you'll see of the razor scooter it will be running guaranteed so look out for that one and uh, i think we need to go and start another project so bye for now guys